Welcome to this video about newcomers' contribution to rural regeneration. First of all, we have to make clear that there is no widely shared definition of rural newcomers. This broad concept includes national and international migrants, asylum seekers, newly arrived entrepreneurs, workers and second home owners, and those seeking alternative lifestyles, all people that didn't live all their life in the same rural place. We don't exactly know who they are because there is a lack of demographic and administrative data about them, but rural studies and local policies can clearly describe their role in rural regeneration. Indeed, newcomers can contribute to rural regeneration not only because they add to the population numbers as new, relatively young people in an aging region, but also because of the economic, cultural and social activities they promote and which advance local and regional development. Both affluent city dwellers and those of lower social status move to rural areas in search of a better natural environment, cheaper living or the opportunity to change their lifestyle. This type of immigration is taking place in all European rural regions, however, there are regions where the appearance of newcomers can offset the reduction of the rural population, while elsewhere there are no such direct demographic consequences. For example, in the old EU member states, the proportion of the rural population is constantly decreasing, while in the new member states, certain rural regions are rather overpopulated despite all the outmigration and cannot provide enough resources to live on. But what is the contribution of these newcomers to the rural areas they move to? Newcomers can contribute to a new rurality by starting new businesses in agriculture, in tourism or in the cultural sector. Although these practices are not a panacea of rural development, they can achieve and generate strategic progress in several essential dimensions. First, ideas and practices of rural newcomers can generate an advancement of fundraising possibilities and increase in professional expertise and the dissemination of knowledge capital and technical modernization together with the expansion of economic networking. Second, the spread of rural newcomers' institutional and corporate innovations may also result in a wider awareness of acceptance of new forms of governance. Third, rural newcomers' initiatives, even if not massive and continuous, have a direct and strong impact on the social and economic reorganization of local communities, among the positive impacts, we can list new economic demand, distribution and offer of new and traditional local products, cultural goods, the development of tourist activities, the creation of new community connections and synergies. As a result, more jobs are created, infrastructural development is spurred, innovative activities and new forms of enterprise are generated. Fresh urban-rural relations are engendered, and potentially novel values are introduced. Fourth, rural newcomers' practices build and preserve rural resources. They play an active role in nurturing and reinterpreting traditions and in reviving local culture. Fifth, many practices of rural newcomers show also a direct or a, a indirect environmental impact, contributing to environment protection and sustainability. To sum up, we found that corporate, collaborative actions and programs are much more able to promote rural renewal than individual newcomer innovations. Although individual initiatives can also be significant in municipalities where comprehensive strategies are lacking. However, there are also difficult aspects. Indeed, newcomer activities are not really the focus of public policies and uh, cooperation with local politics is not always conflict-free because of overlapping and conflicting social, economic and political interests between locals and newcomers. This conflict can have three forms. Rivalry for local power between local stakeholders and newcomer leaders. Separation, which means locals and newcomers living side by side without interaction lack of knowledge as well as uh, lack of appropriate European and local policies at local management levels. If newcomers with this knowledge capital are not involved in development project. In order to have a massive positive effect in, uh, of newcomers in rural areas, it is necessary to reform the practice of European rural development policies and projects. 
which will enable and encourage through financial means cross-sectoral programs at regional level that are also open to the adoption and embrace of unique individual initiatives.